Hi everyone and welcome back to the Art of Pandora YouTube channel. I am Lena and I am here today to share with you a review of the Keith Haring collection which I recently got in store at Pandora Rouse Hill. So I'm very very excited to share this collection with you. It is something different. Um, we've never seen Pandora do an artist collab before so I was very excited to get these pieces and to be able to look through them with you. So I think my absolute favorite piece in this collection is one of the two-toned pieces and it is the Pandora two-toned love link bracelet. I love anything with a heart motif and I really love this bracelet because I just think it's really quirky, it's really cool, it's got this amazing um, kind of link design and the word love in it which I think is really really funky. So it is a t-bar bracelet the actual T which goes through the O of the heart has Keith Haring's signature on it so that's one of the really cool things about this Keith Haring range is that everywhere you look there are these little Easter eggs whether it's the hallmarks or whether it says um, Pandora or whether it actually has um, Keith Haring's signature there are these little Easter eggs that you find on this charm and in some places you can see Keith Haring's um, initials and a sort of um, acknowledgement of his foundation too. The other thing that I really love about this bracelet is the fact that we've got these two-toned kind of color scheme going on so we've got our 14 karat gold plated links um, some of them are really really tiny so if you look at where the t-bar joins the um, heart these particular links are really really delicate and beautiful and um, a small sort of chain link and then as we move down the bracelet they become bigger and a little bit longer as well so I really like the different size of the links I think it makes it look really cool I think it also means that this bracelet is going to be really cool to style with um, some of your me collection and I'll be able to show you some of that in uh, my photos that I take later on so and then we've got this gorgeous clasp with the t-bar that goes through so I love the design for me I got size 18 because that's the one that fits my wrist um, and I think that this is going to look really cool with some of the other Keith Haring designs um, and pieces as well so I definitely plan on wearing the two-tone pieces together um, so let's have a look next at our necklace so this is our Keith Haring Pandora two-toned twisted figure t-bar um, necklace so you've got this twisted figure here and this is actually the center of the necklace so what you'll have is this twisted figure as the actual part that sits on your neckline which is really cool um, and it is a t-bar design just like our bracelet so um, you'll be able to see that there's Keith Haring's signature on the t-bar again um, and it does thread through the actual figure um, and it sits in the center of your sort of neckline you've got the silver links on one side which then become the 14 karat rose gold links um, and then they become silver again 14 karat rose gold and it continues in that alternate kind of pattern it goes really well with the bracelet that we just had a look at um, and you've got the twisted figure and on the back of him you can see the hallmarks where it says Pandora ALE um, and then you've got the sort of black um, oxidized kind of design that they've done to mirror Keith Haring's signature style so if you're not familiar with Keith Haring, he was a New York artist in the 1980s who was very inspired by street culture. He was really inspired by um, sort of uh, graffiti to make his designs and he actually did start as a graffiti artist before he rose to fame. So that's something I think that this design capture but in a nice subtle way um, and you can see all of his iconic kind of features like the walking heart the barking dog the angel baby you can see them in this collection so the next thing that i have that goes with the two-toned um, designs is this really interesting stud earring it's the walking heart stud earring so you can see the heart you can see these little movement lines i love the little movement lines i think they're really cool um, and then you've got the actual this is one of the ones that you can see the keith herring um, foundation hallmarks on the inside i don't know if you can see but it's got the copyright logo it says 
KH and then it says FNDT and that's part of his um, foundation and then on the top you've got the Pandora hallmarks um, and the actual word Pandora. On the back I think this is really cool you can see Keith Haring's signature much bigger than you can on the actual um, necklace and bracelet. I only got one of these studs because I plan to wear it with um, some of my me earrings so those sort of chain link earrings I plan to wear this on one side and then the chain link earrings on the other it does have a butterfly um, clip at the back to keep the earring on I like these ones these are one of my favorite kinds of earring clips because it keeps the earring on strong and then this part of the heart will sit at the front of the ear and this part will sit at the back so I like that kind of that it goes around the ear as though it's sort of going all the way around in an infinity loop so to go with the necklace the bracelet and then the earrings we have this really interesting wavy figure open ring in 14 karat gold plating so you can see the wavy figure this is another iconic kind of one of the lined figures designed by Keith Haring. You can see the hallmarks of the foundation there, which is really cool. Um, and then it goes all the way down to his um, little feet. And then there's that open work kind of um, design. On the inside, you can see there it says Pandora. And then the design continues on the inside. Make sure if you are getting the rings that you go a size up. So I had to get, I normally get size 58. Uh, 56 rings I had to get a 58 because um, they are quite solid so you get a lot of ring for your money um, there is a lot of ring there you can see it's quite thick so definitely go a size up um, a few people that I know um, that are guys really like these rings and if they fit size 60 might fit on some of their fingers if they've got um, more or less slim man hands so they might really like these rings as well because I've got a few guy friends that love these rings um, so yeah you can wear it whether you put the open part up or whether you turn him around um, and you put him a different way for that slightly different design where you can't see that it's a person I think it works either way I think it's really funky it's really interesting um, yeah so I did did indulge myself in the Keith Haring collection because I think it is really interesting and it is really fun and it is something different and because it's a first for Pandora I got excited about it so I was happy about that okay so that's my two-toned um, and 14 karat gold plating let's move on to have a look at some of the silver kind of charms and also the bracelet as well so let's start with our bracelet since he's sitting right here um, so this is the Moments, so Keith Haring, Pandora, Moments Radiant Heart Snake Chain Bracelet. And this is a bit more of a traditional Moments kind of design for Pandora. You've got Keith Haring's signature on the back. So no matter which way the bracelet turns, it's got a cool design. It's got that heart. I think this will go really well with Valentine's Day collections as well. So you've got that beautiful pink heart there. Um, it's your typical moment sort of... Um, design and bracelet and it's got lots of um, room to put your Keith Haring charms so let's have a look at some of those make sure guys if you do get the Keith Haring collection that you make sure they give you one of these boxes because they do the collection does come in the really funky um, special edition kind of Keith Haring boxes and I'll show you one once we go through the charms so um, make sure you ask for them and if you get a lot of charms like I did there's nothing wrong with and don't be shy to ask for the three different colored boxes for the different charms to go into because the lovely people at Pandora Rouse Hill definitely gave me all three boxes I did purchase a lot of the collection um, but they were very happy to give me even if you purchase one charm you can get the box so I think that's really nice and really cool and it gives you a really nice storage option so you know where your Keith Haring collection is so let's have a look next at our um, walking heart double dangle charm this one here so this is really cool because you've got your walking heart with that red enamel detail um, and you've also got that sort of uh, oxidized look with the black lines which is iconic to Keith Haring's design then on the bail you can actually see engraved hopefully you can see that amazing heart um, design as well so there's these little easter egg hearts that you can see that pop up um, 
in kind of different areas. So there's our Keith Haring Foundation um, engraving there. And then on the other side of the bale, you can see it says Pandora with our hallmarks. And the back part of the dangle, the second half of the dangle, is um, what Pandora have said is like an artist's canvas. So you've got this pink enamel, you've got the little um, movement lines for the heart, so as though he's sort of running or walking. Um, and then the back of it is like an artist's canvas, which I think is really cool. Then on the very back of the charm, you have Keith Haring's signature and Pandora. You could even wear it this way. I think it's really, really um, versatile. I also think that when it's on your bracelet, no matter which way it turns, the fact that it says Pandora in such big engraved letters, you can see the O really clearly with the crown and then you can see Keith Haring's signature too. I think that's really amazing and really cool. So I do like this dangle. It could make for a good necklace, but I think I'm gonna wear it on the bracelet with some of the other silver charms. And I might even put some of my Cabotron charms in between um, because that might space out some of the charms. Okay, let's look at my next charm, which is my favorite. It is the Barking Dog Charm. So I remember in the 90s, um, a lot of fashion with this dog on it. So um, it's really cool. I think it inspired a lot of different um, art styles as well. So you've got the, like Mambo, for example, had a really similar type of design. So the Keith Haring's barking dog, very iconic for him. You can see his signature across the back. I love that. I think it's really arty. Um, and then inside the dog, you can also see the um, little hallmarks um, and the reference to the foundation too on the back and then inside I think there was one of those little hearts as well um, when I looked more closely it's got that red enamel he's really cute if you have a dog as well I think that would be a cool one for a pet bracelet for example um, or you can stick to the Keith Haring design and you can put it on your Keith Haring bracelet too so that's a really fun barking dog charm now the next charm that a lot of people were quite excited about is the Keith Haring Pandora Radiant Angel Charm. So it's really, really cool. You've got that sort of angel baby design with the movement lines. I really love the blue enamel on this one. Um, you can see the hallmarks there. And then you can also, again, see Keith Haring's signature across the top um, and the foundation. So that's our angel baby charm. Really nice sentimental um, value if you have an angel baby in your life you might get this charm or you might just put it on a bracelet with the same kind of colors or again you can wear it um, on the Keith Haring bracelet and when you do put it on the bracelet because of the movement lines it does look a little bit like he's sort of flying I think that's really cute and really cool um, okay so we've had a look at some of our really iconic symbols so the walking heart the barking dog the angel baby um, that are really famous. The other very famous part about all of Keith Haring's designs are our really distinct line art people. So let's have a look at the um, line art people charm with that sort of antique oxidized oxidation and the red enamel. So a lot of these are our line our art people, but this is the actual charm. So it's shaped like a heart. You can see the line art people and then the red enamel hearts that um, are inside every single person. So that's really cool. Um, Keith Haring's signature is on every single charm that you get has his signature on it. Um, and then you can see the little movement lines. And so they're all connected. He had a lot to sort of say about the world and being united and everyone having their sort of fair share and everyone having you know equal opportunity and being recognized for who they are and appreciated for who they are so that's really interesting i think um to consider with his designs the actual meaning behind his artwork okay let's have a look at another silver one so let's look at another line art people and this is the heart dangle this is one of my favorite um, charms in the collection because you can see the line art people and it's interesting these ones rather than having um, you know, all hearts actually have crosses in the middle of them. So I think that's an interesting kind of touch. Um, you can see the red enamel actually goes around. So you've got the oxidation of the black lines, but then around the heart, you've actually got a red enamel line that goes through. Um, and then on the back, you can see that same 
enamel and you can see the Keith Haring signature and the Pandora hallmarks as well. And then around the bale, the people continue around the bale and that's my favorite thing about this charm. You know I love a charm with, with a little bit of detail that you have to look closely at, so this is definitely one of those charms. So you've got the fact that the people continue around the bale. And interestingly, so everything's really well thought through with this design, you've got this person with a hole in it. And Keith Haring commented a lot about, you know, humanity and sometimes our loneliness and how we need to be together in order to be united. And he also commented on kind of the nuclear age as well. So there's a lot of meaning that can be found in these charms. Um, and I think the jewelry design has actually really captured the key iconic moments of these charms. So um, we've looked at the heart dangle charm. Let's move on to have a look at the love and figures charm so unsurprisingly the love and figures charm is the one with the red heart and all the figures are holding it up um they're kind of dancing i think that's really cute um you can see the keith haring signature and the foundation around the side there and then they continue towards the heart um this would go really well with the barking dog charm i think on a bracelet and then it says pandora and our hallmarks so this is a super cute charm. I really like it. I like that it's round. So as it goes around your bracelet, it will look like this. I'm dancing and moving the heart around, or pushing it around. So that's really cool. Um, that's another really interesting design that we have with some of those really famous figures. Okay, now let's move on to another really interesting part, an eye-catching part, which is the second ring in the collection it's the line art love and people wide ring so let's have a nice close look at this you've got your keith harring um signature there you've got all of his really famous and iconic characters so you've got that twisted sort of person there you've got the line art people you've got um sort of a reference to the baby there You've got the um, winged person there. Um, it's really cool. There's the barking dog and someone's like surfing the barking dog. And then you've got your um, another like lined art person with the heart as well. Again, inside the ring is that detail, the hallmarks, that um, oxidation, the antique oxidation it's called. It's a really shiny ring and you can see there's a lot to this ring. So again, definitely go a size up because I got this ring again size 58. I'm normally a size 56, but I definitely had to get it a size up for my um, hands because otherwise it wouldn't necessarily have fit. So as you can see, the rings definitely need to be a bigger size for you. So one size up is perfect for me um, and it should be for everyone. So as long as you go a size up, you'll be fine. You can turn the heart out to face out or you can actually just twist it around so that you have the um, funky designs and people facing out. And the thing I love is that there's a design like pretty much all the way around this ring. So it's a bit different, it's a bit edgy, but it is um, a collection that I think is really exciting because it is the first artist collab. And he's an interesting artist too. There's a lot of history to his jewelry. Let me show you what's inside the box. Um, so you get this really cool rubber band that they give you at Pandora. I don't have any charms in here. I'm just going to show you the inside. So the boxes come flat and then they make them for you on the spot. Um, and as you can see, you can actually fold it back up. And if you want to, you can tape it down so that it's permanently a box. Or otherwise, if you want to store it as a folded or a lying down piece like this, you just um, don't tape it and you can just have it as um, an unfoldable box. You can see all of Keith Haring's design continues in there. You'll get some cool tissue paper um, with the Keith Haring design and then it folds up like so and you put your rubber band around it because obviously that's part of Keith Haring's style and then you get these really funky colours as well. So orange, yellow and blue. I think yellow is my favourite one um, but I was they were kind enough in store to give me all three because I asked for all three. So make sure you do the same. Um, 
I hope you really enjoyed this review of the Keith Haring range. As I said, it's different, it's funky, it's fun. I look forward to wearing this. Um, I look forward to actually pairing it with some of my me jewelry as well. So um, keep an eye out for some photos to come. I'll definitely take some photos of the different designs that I have made with these charms, bracelets, necklace and earring. Um, thank you everyone for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Have a lovely day wherever you might be in the world and bye for now.